Hey, what's up, everybody? Meta World Peace here. The Test Your Greatness Podcast is brought to you by ThePandasFriend.com. It's a brand truly by an athlete, you know, for an athlete. But so many times we get emotional. So many times we let our energy get the best of us or someone else's energy growing up from where I'm from or maybe from where you're from too. And we grow up pure and then at some point in time in our neighborhood things get the best of us collectively. We got to go through a journey and then we get out of it on the other side somehow. You know, so many, I, I saw so many talented people. Now keep in mind, I grew up in um, a black neighborhood. Well, it depends what you also, when you look at the definition of black. Um, when I look at the definition of a black person, then I'll take that definition and then add person at the end. So you can interpret that how you want, but growing up amongst people, how I grew up, some smart, smart individuals. I remember the days where people are coming home from school, maybe your parents couldn't drop you off, maybe you was hungry, people get in trouble, and now that starts, oh, you missed one day of class, now you gotta make it up. You're not studying, you don't have tutors, you don't have that type of infrastructure in the household, oh, now you're getting left back, now you're going to jail, and now, you know, this is where you could potentially see people in handcuffs. You could potentially see people, you know, not making it. You could potentially see people in jail. And then you get uh, tagged on a group of people. So you might see me walking around the street. And you might be like, hmm, that guy looks suspicious. Or that person looks suspicious. Until you see them on television. Then you're like, oh, this person doesn't look suspicious. Because I see him on television. But that person, you know. And that's just because, it's not everyone, but it's the education, it's the um, embeddedment of giving a tag to a group of people, which is a dark tag. Um, and sometimes, yeah, although somebody might be struggling, if you're hungry and you're working hard, you might see the grit, but you don't see the other side, the loving side. This person is capable of making babies capable of having the family so you know you look at all the everything that happened in these days um, in politics and social uh, socializing and different areas of just living um, different areas of spirituality and everything you know sometimes you know we could get a little bit caught up and you know we're in America we obviously we've gone through things and there are a lot of people on different sides, you know, extreme to non-extreme, puts us in tough situations, you know, anything from social security or anything from a minimum wage or things from injustice or things from lack of opportunities. Um, you know, sometimes people are afraid to say certain things because they don't know if they're going to lose their job or it's just so many things happening, you know, in the world, which is another reason why I tried to stay away from media as much as possible. Um, and we all have flaws. I have my own flaws, and I don't know what flaws anybody else has. And, you know, it's things we, we got to go through, but at some point, we got to just work on getting it right. You know, at some point, we got to say, okay, I've created a bad situation at any level, and now I want to get it right. You know, um, and I think that's where the mind should be focused at. You know, we're here, we're here in America, and sometimes they'll say it's the home of the free, but if I'm, by default, I'm a Democrat because I grew up in a Democrat uh, kind of society, right, where you would vote for just a Democrat because of reasons you don't really understand as a child, but as you get older, you start to say, oh, I've seen the, the dog hose. I've seen the fireman hosing of black people. I've seen, the, you know, black people being bit by dogs. This is all images that we've seen. And then you look back into your neighborhood and you're like, oh, I've seen when police came through and, and, and running through the neighborhood and, and doing things like that and targeting people and 
you know, for marijuana, you got to have high the marijuana, so police don't take you in, and, you know, you miss one day of school, and, or, or a week, and you can't make it up, you're getting left back, so it's a really tough environment, so from that perspective, when you, you know, with that, with, were those Democratic police, were they Republican police, we, we don't know, Right, so just from that perspective, as you go on in your in your journey in life, you know if we're if we're truly free, then you have the freedom and the independency to vote according to how you want to vote, right? And I think sometimes, you know, I think that if you vote for a party, it doesn't mean you hate the other party. Is it supposed to mean, hey, I'm voting this way, so I should hate them? Or I'm gonna vote for this person, so that person must be wrong. Or the person I'm voting for is right, but they, you know, are you gonna back them because, um, just because? You know, I think, um, yes, it's a, it's a big job. We all know we live here in this in this world that we're under, but I also believe that there's some beauty to. Uh, politics. I also believe that there's a little bit of beauty to having that type of uh, ability, capability of uh, getting laws passed. Um, now, yeah, on the other side, if you make it non-beautiful, it will be non-beautiful. But I think it, it should be a thing of, of beauty. It shouldn't be a thing of, oh, we're just trying to survive. You know, um, I wasn't really into politics. I'm into, I'm into social politics politics, which is an iron line forward for social impact. You know, you're not supposed to really look at a lot of the things because once upon a time, when we came here to from wherever we're from, because, we, you know, we don't really understand where exactly that we're from. And it would be nice if people would tell us, you know, exactly where, where are we from? Where, where, what, you know, what country are you from? You know, um, that, that information has been uh, discontinued. Uh, probably, you know, still exists, but it's just not here. You know, so this, from that perspective, we are here under the rules that every, other people made. That should give you the ability to vote however you want to vote. You know, and without feeling pressure. Sometimes you, you get people voting because they're forced to vote a certain way. You know, or they're, they, they uh, by default, are part of a certain party or group, just by default, you know, um, and if you don't do this, then I'm not your friend no more, I just don't believe in that, you know, I believe in, and I'm not saying what I say is the end all, be all, but what I'm saying is, I believe, hey, you want to vote that way, okay, great, you know, if you was my friend before me, prior to me knowing, then why won't you be my friend um, now? Why do I have to distance myself from you? If you feel a certain way about rules, do you feel that way about me? If you don't feel that way about me, then that's okay. Then I'm like, okay, I can't force you to vote in the way you want to vote. Nor do I want to. Right? I, Whatever, you know, I think whatever happened to, hey, he's he's a Republican, she's a Republican, he's an independent, she's an independent, he's a Democrat, she's a, she's a Democrat. And if we're truly trying to collaborate, yeah, obviously election time is election time, but we still got to at some point collaborate, you know, and do things together and do some business together. And then, But the one thing, social impact, trumps everything because social impact and social politics it's really m moving things forward with the curiosity and ideas and you're doing it collectively and then people that don't want to join in then you can't control that type of thinking you, I can't have somebody join in on doing something positive you know for the, for the um, community that looks like me and um, or some people will say black which is okay you know I'm I have. I'm, I will always bring up the definition because that's just. I'm just. I just look into everything. <laughs> I'm. I'm super curious, but um, let's just call it black for now. You know, um, you know. So 
if I'm putting together a program for people of color, black people, and um, with brown skin, um, and then if you don't want to join because you don't have the funding, that's different. You want to focus somewhere else, that's different. But if you, if you don't want to join because that person is black, that's, you know, you're not a part of social politics or social impact. You know, it, it's, it's, they're not, it's not the same category. It's very similar to when people created hip hop and then they changed. They added genres and it's, it's not hip hop, but I'm from where hip hop started even though I don't quite look like it anymore, talk like it anymore, you know, but, you know, I don't have to go back and show people how, where I'm from, you know, that, you know, that's hip hop is the same thing with, um, you know, how we moving forward now, you know, you, you, you say one thing, you want to be a part of social politics or social impact and doing another, you know, uh, not, not uh, agreeing with the right thing because someone didn't agree with you. So you know what? That important uh, bill, yeah, we'll just let it hang. I understand negotiations, but at some point, at some point, there has to be some maturity. You know, it, well, sometimes we acting like we're teenagers. You know, the negotiation has to be, at some point, it has to be social p politics involved. At some point, because we're missing out on the beauty of this thing, you know, we're missing out on the beauty of having our children become smart and critical thinkers, right out the box. And now that one gym, it might not be your gym, it might not be your child, it might be someone else's, and we got to be okay with that. You know, you did you you do everything you can. You know, for your family, but sometimes you gotta support other people. You know, and let them come up with these incredible ideas that's gonna clean the water with the resources that is given to them by us, but by us meaning our generation. But obviously, I'm not an engineer or scientist. You know, let us, you know, let them come up with these incredible ideas to leapfrog into space and explore. You know, we're giving them tools to just be stressed. You know, we're giving them tools to just be like, oh, I'm just going to stay here, work, and do the same thing. Let's, you know, this is life. This is this is the beautiful this is the beautiful thing about, you know, Mother Nature and the, and the land that we live on and the resources that we have. And, the, and our collective minds to come together and do something special and do something incredible and do something with you know, do something with intention. Um, uh, you know, do something with intention uh, that's going to affect social social impact and social politics. Um, yeah, as a kid, I, I did want to be a lot of things. You know, a musician, a, a, an athlete, an, an actor, a president, um, a teacher. You know, and at some point that was cool. And I think even right now to this day, you'll get the youth thinking, oh, that's cool. What's not cool is when we destroy it or when we destroy them, right, across the world where uh, kids are not making it past a day because they've been um, harmed and unable to breathe and move on, you know, uh, and other things that's going on. At some point, we got to get it right, you know. Um, and then at some point, you know, the people in the world, at, at some point, you know, you can't just be destructive because you're not getting what you want. I think at some point, we got to be helpful. At some point, we have to make sure that we're not just keeping everything for ourselves, that we are providing resources for people. We, are, you know, we are essentially a collective. Now, not everybody feels that way, which is okay. I don't necessarily want to get involved in that part I want to stay on the, on the line of just being a value adder and I tell people all the time as many mistakes as I made in my life it's no excuse not to help the next person just because I'm not you know 
doing the best that I could do or, or maybe having a bad day doesn't mean I can't get up with some energy to help someone else. And just because you know, you're not happy, there's no reason for you to hold, to hold that against other people. Oh, I'm not going to help them. They'll never get this. They'll never get that. They'll do that. You understand what I'm saying. And, you know, so I think you want to be a part. You want to be on the right side of history. And I think the right side of history is social politics. And, and, uh, and, and, and yeah, I don't like the way my ancestors was treated on the Republican, uh, on the Republican side. I don't like the way my ancestors was treated on the Democratic side. Um, and maybe even on the independent side. Right? I'm, I'm an independent. Right. But, you know, from that perspective, we're here. We live on the same land. We had people that took, that helped take my ancestors out of, out of slavery. And we had people that wanted to keep us in slavery. You know, um, and we also have people that understand that this earth is an open source earth and it's for everyone. Um, it's also a great opportunity. We also love the opportunity to make some money and, and buy that big property. Not everybody can do that, right? There has to be some type of balance. Um, either we all gonna say, you know what, let's live equally or hey, if I'm gonna make more, at least I can give back. At least give somebody, not even hope, just happiness. You know, some people don't want to just live in a big city, you know, in a penthouse. Some people are happy living, you know, in a $50,000 property on a nice island or in, in, in nature, right? So I think capitalism is not necessary, but, you know, it's, a, uh, it's an accessory just by default, um, if that makes sense. It's an accessory. It's, it's not capitalism. It's not necessary, but um, it's a cool thing. But we gotta make it. We gotta make sure here in America. We gotta make sure that we are re being responsible with that with capitalism. We gotta make sure that we're being um, aware of nepotism. Right. We gotta make sure that we're not losing focus. We gotta make sure that, oh yeah, every time something's going well, somebody wanna come in and beat the drums off beat. We gotta make sure that we stay focused, continue to bring people together and and, and really bring the energy together. Cause sometimes people, I understand that people wanna be around their own people sometimes. I'm not gonna fault someone for that. It has nothing to do with me. I understand that people want to integrate. I'm the type of person that want to integrate, you know, and j just because I'm from, you know, the biggest federal housing project in America, we're mostly um, of ancestral slave blood people. You know, it doesn't mean that I don't want to be around Italian people or it doesn't mean I want to be around Dominican sometimes or Puerto Rican sometimes. Sometimes I want that culture shift. You know, sometimes I want Chinese food. You know, sometimes I want Jamaican food. You know, I might want to go to an Indian wedding. You know, it's a lot of the culture is incredible. Or sometimes I might want to just be around my people, my homies, my friends. When I made it to the NBA, I used to go to Chicago, got drafted. I used to drive back on Fridays just to get back home in the hood. I did not like being in the suburbs. It just was like, ooh. To me, it was like, I need to get back home immediately. I would leave Highland or Deerfield and drive home for 16 hours because I couldn't quite afford um, a first class ticket at that time as a rookie because it was expensive. You keep going back and forth, you know, and then I would drive back and be home. You know, I'll be home in New York City for 36 hours, sometimes 16 hours. So I, I don't think we need to fault someone for being comfortable. But I do think if there's any hate and judgment or hate mixed with judgment in your comfort, you need to become uncomfortable. You know, it's one thing to want to be next to your friends or next to your family. It's another thing to not want to even be around someone because you just want to never be around. 
Yeah. You know, to me, that's a little bit of um, that's a little bit suspect, and I don't necessarily agree with that type of a mind frame. Um, so here I am, you know, as an independent. Um, here we are, election time. You know, uh, yeah, absolutely, we're going for RFK, uh, Robert Kennedy Jr. But it doesn't mean. Um, that we don't have a perspective first because I, you know, I'm very not, um, to the most part, maybe I'm analytical, but I'm very curious. So it doesn't mean we don't have a perspective and some statements about Republicans. It doesn't mean we don't have perspective and some statements about the Democrats. But we also have to put it in layers, you know, uh, these are all the higher power. We are all the higher power children, right? So the human part, we have to see that first. Sometimes inside, you do. Do you remember the days? <laughs> Pardon me, but do you remember the days, or do you remember a day where you felt something inside, anxiety, depression, just off, right? So sometimes inside, whether you're looking at you or someone else, you know, sometimes you got to give gratitude just to be around people right so you gotta I think that's always first you, your first thing can be oh I see a person they're this color not saying you're making a judgment because of their that color but that's what your eyes first see it doesn't see how someone's feeling right because you see somebody like I don't like this person I think that can never be the first judgment I think that can be second <laughs> You know, I think it can for sure be, uh, it can be second, you know, then you start to break it down, especially when you're talking about where we're at right now, you know, in life. And yeah, you know, I'm, I have a lot of curiosities. I like to save my curiosity for in person. I don't necessarily like to talk about it, you know, um, publicly, but I have curiosities and, and, uh, and perspective. I have curiosities about the Democrats. Um, I have perspectives, um, some that I think can really help us. Um, and then, you know, some of, I'm not into all of the secrecies because at some point we got to <laughs> protect national security. <laughs> right? You can't know everything. Yeah, we want to know everything. And I'm, an, I'm here, I'm an independent, right? I'm an independent and my candidate is an incredible guy, right? And yeah, but at some point as a, fan or as a, a voter or as just a regular citizen, you know, at some point we cannot know everything, you know, because national security, <laughs> you know, but there are simple things that we want to improve, you know, um, like making sure social security is going to be okay, making sure people are learning, making sure people are learning to fish, making sure people can help themselves. Making sure we're not holding people back. Give someone else a chance to show what they can do and maybe go up the ranks in life and create an incredible family. Give them a shot. So I have a lot of um, perspectives and curiosities. And on the, Republic, on the Republican side, I have a lot of perspectives and curiosities. You know, you know some of curiosities is, you know, I think... I have, I have so many really good friends on both sides and then sometimes certain actions overshadow the party. At this point, and I'm not the first one to speak about this, but at this point in life, we all know that there are black people who are Democrats, maybe the majority, and then you have black people that are Republicans right now. This is public um, information, right? Because we're seeing it every day. But at some point, you know, you can't try to harm people and keep people down, you know, in the name of a party because that's not fair. You see what I'm saying? Like that type of stuff is not fair because if you're if you're truly let's say we're here we're here in America and we want to have the option to vote for any party we want, right? Pushing the country forward, right? Um, no matter who wins, we push the company forward, push the country forward. Some would call it, 
whatever they call it, but you know, no matter who wins. So, but at some point in time, you know, the, the, the ignorant remarks we see it. I, I of course, I've I've gotten them more than <laughs> I've gotten them more than a lot of people because yeah, you, know, you hear me now. I went back to school when I retired, did some things. But when I first got in, I was very pro um, neighborhood, my neighborhood, you know, um, urban neighborhood federal housing projects, very pro, and I was very open about it, and people were used to athletes, you know, kind of crossing over a little bit, I came in and didn't cross over, you know, I stayed ten, t- ten toes down at the street level, even in my jargon, so people really didn't like that, <laughs> um, and even now, you know, I'm still the same, but I'm interested in way different things than I was when I was 19, I'm interested in a lot of different things, and Things I'm interested in um, cause the jargon to change a little bit, which I'm fine with, and I'm secure, and I'm happy. You know, but you know, at some point, you know, you got you got to be responsible with your words. It's times where I wasn't responsible with my words. You know, I'm not saying I'm flawless, but at some point, you know, it just gets it, it just gets overwhelmingly um, it gets overwhelmingly um, annoying. You know, like, just the same thing just to hurt people's feelings, you know. It, it just doesn't make sense. At some point, you got to, okay, maybe you did it once, and but at some point, you got to go home and meditate, right? At some point, you got to say, okay, that was wrong. Yeah, if you're not really doing that, then, yeah, you might get some, you know, um, people of slave blood descent to cross over um, to, the, to the Republican side. You might get that, but there's going to be a distance there. You know, you got, at some point you got to be um, the, the the people that are not being responsible with their jargon. At some point you got to get responsible. You know, at some at some point, uh, you know, at some point we got to all understand that we're humans. We're not saying, oh, we need to hang out all the time. I don't want to hang out with people all the time too. By the way, I literally don't want to be around people all the time. If I have to hang around you just to like do business with you all the time, like then I'd rather not. <laughs> you know, that's just human nature. You know, you, you look at even when a panda is born, they're cuddly. But then as they get old, speaking of panda, pun intended, when they get older, they're like, "Don't come next to me." <laughs> you know, they get they become adults. They're like, "Yo, I want my space." Right? Um, it, it makes sense from humans to animals. You know, it makes sense. So. But at, at some point, we got to get more responsible. So at some point, you know, people have to start teaching a different thing. We, we evolved as humans. Um, some would suggest they know how we got here. Some would say, I don't know. Some every, people have different opinions. But at some point, you know, it, things things has changed. And I think um, if people don't want things to change, at least evolve. You know, because it, it you know a lot of things are, are annoying. You know, um, I don't necessarily, like I said, I don't. I like to speak to people face to face, not necessarily, you know, through the through technology all the time. You know, but I just want to encourage people. I want, you know, this should be the election time. At some point, it should be something of joy. It shouldn't always be, especially from the people that make the decisions. And at some point, you gotta have fun with this. You know, um, uh, you know, at, when 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 is it fun? You know, when is it going to be cool to to be a a higher upper? You know, what what at what point in time can we look up to the higher upper? You know, on, on either side, like oh, that's a great girl. Oh, that's a great guy. You know, um, they're doing a great job. You know, running the country. You know, and I want to be here to support. Uh, at some point, you know, it's not all about positioning, and I think that's where we got to get to. At the same time. Um, I, th- I think I think that's where we become back, back where we were, not by force, just by uh, being cool, just by being um, inviting, just by being wanted, just by like oh wow, good leaders, just by being a good leader, you know. And I think that's the message you see a lot, and not just um, people of uh, slave ancestral descent bloodline, but also people of other um, ethnicities and cultures. 
Um, I've been speaking to a lot of people. When I came out as an independent, I've gotten, I got so many bad messages. You know, to, you know, sometimes people would say, what are you doing? You're crossing over. You, 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 you just be like white people now. You, you know, you're not black. I'm like, what? <laughs> Sorry. So you, if you don't know me, but I'm, I'm every bit of a black. <laughs> every bit of it. But I don't necessarily need to show you, like, what is black? Is black like, yo, what up? Is, is the people black to change my face and change the way I talk? You know, what, what, what are we talking about here? You know, can it just be something that is, um, can I just be me? You know, and wanting to do real work to see the condition. For me, clean bridge is very important to me. I've seen so many people get taken down, um, families break, broke up, dads in jail, and staying within the, the, the confinements of the brick um, structure and not being able to get sun and be happy on a daily basis. So for me, um, I wanna, one of my goals in life is to see that change um, in bulk as scale. You, you know, so for you, I don't know what that means. I, yeah, I do have an agenda, you know, um, why I'm into social politics. And you should too. And yeah, there, there was a point in time where I was, um, there was a point in time where I was into, um, where I was only, only Democrat, where I was only, um, that was it. We grew up, that's all we knew. But there also was a point in time where I didn't know anything, you know, about politics and you know, my name is Ronald, so imagine when Ronald Reagan was president. You know, and then you, as you get older, you see the the different opinion people have of of different people. Um, whether it's the VP, whether it's the president, whether it's um, anybody in a position, and then you start to do your history, and then you start to learn about different things. And at some and, and you go through these journeys, and you don't really get it overnight. But what happens is you do start to ask questions. And some, you know, I, I do understand that people are not really interested in people's opinion. You know, there, no, um, because it's a famous quote, you know, the, the famous shut up and dribble um, kind of tagline um, or quote. Uh, but no, but people are curious. You know, some people are very, very curious. And from that perspective, now, I'm uneducated about politics from the from the lens of I'm not interested in the ins and outs. Um, I'm more interested in social politics, but there, there are lots of parties, the forward party, the Republican party, the Democratic party, the Independent party, and the, the Green party, I think, and maybe another one. But at some point in time, I think that um, whatever party you pick, um, I know a lot of people are not going to be happy about this, but I said, you got to go in there with your perspective. You can't just be like, yes, 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 yes. You know, it got to be like, this is what I think, this is what I think, this is what I think, this is what I think. And yeah, there'll be chain of commands. Like in life, you can't have tw you know, 20, 30, 100 people all being the, I give the final answer. No, there is, there's layers to it, but you can't go in there. I see so many people that I'm just like, wow, you never spoke like this before. And now you're speaking like this, and for whatever reason, which is why sometimes I personally, you know, I'm, I'm like a wild card. <laughs> like people don't know. Hold on, hold on, is he on my side or is he not? No, I'm not on nobody's side. I'm very clear about that. I'm on the side of like evolution. <laughs> you know, I'm on the side of um, wanting to explore. That that's the side. <laughs> You know, and I think for me, you know, being independent, I'm not saying it's any better than the Republican Party or any better than the Democratic Party. But what I'm saying is being independent, it makes me happy. You know, because at some point in time, there has to be a way where we could get through these processes and inspire the youth. 
you know, to do the right thing. There's going to be ups and downs for sure, but it can't be just, it just can't be downer after downer after downer. Whatever happens to the times where the, the debate's coming on and you just want to watch. Like, I want to hear you. I want to hear what you think. Like, I want to be inspired. Like, oh, wow. Oh, wow, it's a close race. Oh, wow, this person won. Oh, wow, that's, 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 that's pretty cool. They're going to they're gonna make some change. Yeah, I know there's going to be, there's always going to be some unbalance. Um, that's, and it, you know, I understand because they, there's a business aspect to it. <coughs> it's definitely a business aspect to it. Um, you know, would I change things? I don't, I don't know. I think that I would add um, different values um, or opinions um, and suggestions um, from my perspective. You know, if I had the opportunity. For sure, 100%. You know, um, but I think that I think a little more balance is is necessary. Now, now that's necessary. You know, more necessary than capitalism. I think, like I said, I think capitalism is um, an accessory. You know, it's like you know, it, you can go many different routes and be okay. You know, you can go many many different routes and be okay. Happiness is necessary. Right, and I think that's where we gotta get to, you know, uh, which w which will make more people happy, you know, and I think we deserve it, you know. I think as as um especially in this era of of uh, of mankind, and I think we deserve it, you know. It has to be, it, you know, we deserve to continue to dream. Sometimes we can't even dream because we gotta address an issue. You know, address this issue. You know, forget the dream. Eh, I'll dream in a couple months. You know, and that's where we want to. I think we want to get past that. There's so many possible, so many possibilities here right now on Earth. Not even including the possibilities when we leave, you know, orbit and and do other things. It's, it's so many, it's so many possibilities um, that we could um, pursue. There's so many possibilities uh, that I want to see. For example, imagine if um, the East River water in New York City was clear. You know, that's a cool thing to think about. That's that's where we should be putting the passion to. No, you did it wrong, <laughs> right? Like that's you know, we be fighting about little stuff. You know, cleaning the Hudson River. Um, getting groups of people to go explore stargazing and stuff, things they've never seen before. How do you get a group of people to go see the beach who never saw the beach? You know, how do you create ways where people just stay with their families for a long periods of time? <laughs> you know, like that's what that's what that's what this should be about. You know, not about if some material thing is going to affect a currency exchange situation. That's an accessory. I'm not saying don't explore and don't tap into that because I think it's pretty cool that currency could give you different things, but not everybody has those opportunities. You know, not everybody has the opportunity to go through the ranks and in any industry, any industry, not even just politics, but also other industries. Not everybody has the opportunity to go through those ranks. They don't even want to. Maybe their mind don't even work like that. Maybe they don't want to work like that. They deserve to be happy. We can't say, oh, because you don't understand the system, that, hey, at some point in time, we're going to take advantage of you. No, it's not, it doesn't work like that. It should not work like that. And at some, and to an extent, it does work like that, you know, and I think that's where we need to get to. I'm not saying it's going to happen overnight, but at some point, we, we got to get to the bag. To the bag, meaning, that was a little jargon, but for the bag, meaning, we got to get to social politics, you know, and let's see how that plays out. And I know, I'm not saying, to, to an extent, it's a game, to an extent, it's a lot of other um, things at risk so we understand that piece 
you know, but I think like there, there, there has to be a point where we're able to give pe- let people dream. Um, there, there, there has to be a point where you know we're not forgetting about what we've been through, what our ancestors been through in this country. I see a lot of people afraid to talk about whether it's reparations or whether it's something else. Some people are afraid to even say the word. <laughs> you know, like you can, you should be able to have, have that freedom to talk and have that, uh, you know, that freedom to suggest. <clears throat> You know, and and yeah, you can't you can't just forget about people and skip people by, you know. Nor and that's anybody. You know, that's just more balance, more unbalanced. And actually, it becomes worse than a seesaw. It becomes a three-sided seesaw. It's already imbalanced, and sometimes we add another layer of imbalance, which the middle is going to break. It can't hold the weight. So now balance is destroyed and it never comes back. You know, so from that perspective, um, I'm super inspired by the opportunities that we have. You know, in my life, I only voted once. Um, I was never into it. I was really playing basketball or in the neighborhood trying to stay out of trouble. Wasn't thinking about voting. Um, and I did once. I think the only person I ever voted for in my life was uh, either Barack or Hillary. Um, and that's because I was getting a lot of um, people telling me to vote. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't want to vote. I've never voted in my life. Um, and I, But I do vote for collective good. I do vote for happiness. And that's, that's what I vote for. You know, um, I do vote you know, to see uh, better conditions of ancestral blood bloodline. Um, and I do vote for uh, people to be happy. I do vote for people to collaborate. Because, you know, it, right now we're at a point of high technology, which is pretty incredible. Um, some people are using it for good. Some people are using it for bad. You know, but we... But we can't deny that we're here. So there's an opportunity for us to just see the, the most incredible things that we've ever seen in our life. We actually can communicate with people all around the world, which is like incredible. That's something to be curious. Um, yeah, that's something to be curious about. Um, so yes, as an independent, um, I'm just wishing the best, hoping the best that people just get through their differences, push forward. And, uh, you know, uh, let's have a good time. You know, let's have a little fun. Let's keep it going. Let's be responsible. Metal World Peace. Make sure you join the podcast. Um, You won't get a lot of hot takes from Metal World Peace. Um, I'm not saying that I'm not excited to watch other people's podcasts. I do do enjoy watching some of the podcasts. Um, But I'm more into just different types of... uh, you know, communication and podcast. So, Metal World Peace, make sure you go to thepandasfilm.com, which is the only way to keep our podcast up and running. Um, make sure you go to artestmanagementgroup.com, our business website where we work with uh, up and coming companies and where we launch our own companies. Uh, make sure you go to artestuniversity.com, stay updated to our 501c3. And to next time, the podcast. Test your greatness. Remember, never, ever give up. You could do anything you put your mind to. Better world peace. We out.